you know I gotta say, after listening and watching a lot of you guys talk about the debate and how it went this week, I personally didn't watch because I already knew how it was going to play out. I think we all did. Yeah, we did. Probably not as bad as how you guys are making it sound, but it was it was definitely on track with what, what could be expected at this point. But I gotta say, even to me, a person who has not done their civic duty in several elections, is thoroughly concerned that we might be entering into coup territory if we don't get some viable candidates soon. And, and before you people say, oh, vote, we gotta vote. For who? Weekend at Bernie's? Felonious Trump. There's no good option. You have lessered of two evils us into this situation. And now we are stuck here. All it's gonna take is some charismatic man. Probably white because they tend to do really well at these sort of things to spark a fire, a revolution, or something, anything, to get the price of housing, food, and basic utilities back to just a manageable level. Of course they're gonna fail dramatically at this because coups never end well. You can ask anyone in Africa, South America, or the Caribbean about that and they'll be able to tell you, no, no, it never ends well. For some reason, charisma and action and humanity and rights just don't seem to go well together. But I think the more concerning thing is that Americans are not built for the apocalypse. Y'all can't even boycott Starbucks. I know, I saw a lot of you in line with me. And even more frightening, I've seen what you guys are willing to do to each other over a chicken sandwich while there was still food on the shelves. Some of you will gladly trade children, grandmothers, cars, body parts, party parts that don't belong to other people for basic necessities that will become luxuries that you've gotten used to. I don't know, America's looking real get out-ish. Put me someplace used to things that don't run on time. Places with no street signs and directions. Where lights and power outages kind of happen every now and then. Because America, nobody wants to be in the capital when the capital falls because there is no greater levels of inequality and unrealized potential than the capital. Sure, people look over in America and think, oh, we have gleaming cities and stuff like that. I'm sure we've shattered that illusion multiple times over the last few years, especially during the last couple of election cycles. But these people have been waiting on a chance to, you know, take over something for a very, very long time. So the prospects of a non-bloody coup taking place over here is just, well, slim to none. Especially when you consider that a lot of the police forces are actually secretly in some of these 4chan groups that are just waiting for the fall of things so they can finally let out their inner punisher on the inside. Exactly what they want revenge on the people for, I don't know. But they'll find a reason. But I say all that to say this. If my local FBI or CIA agent or regional chapter is carefully watching this video. Can you pass the message along to the people who are funding these things, like the PACs and shit, and just let them know that I'm generally concerned for their bottom line? It's really hard to be greedy and own everything if nothing exists anymore. And give us some better candidates. I, I don't even want to play pretend at this point. Just just put somebody with like a average looking face, you know, could anybody could have a beer with, you know, policies can be, I don't know, sounds about right. Anybody other than the living voodoo doll and the self-aware leather handbag. Literally anybody. I personally would run for president, but no one knows who the fuck I am. And I like to sleep in during national disasters. You know, anyone else? Just do something quickly before the people start doing the whole coup thing. I live in a touchy neighborhood now. I really don't want to live through a coup.